Hello everyone. We are gonna make pasta tonight, mac salad, okay? Now, I have to be honest with you, as I always am, <laughs> that I had to figure this out, how to make this. This is a flavor that my husband liked. I'd never made mac salad or pasta salad in my life, and after many trials many years ago, I figured this out. So this is my best recipe. And just because I bake with precision, for work, I don't like to really measure stuff when I've do it, done it a bunch of times for home. So I have measured this stuff and I will share the recipe with you later, but for now it's eyeballing it. That's what I'm gonna do. So right now I have one package of ditalini pasta, which means little thimbles. Um, it's been cooked very al dente. So on the box it says 10 to 11 minutes is al dente. My al dente is nine minutes, and you have to decide for yourself what you like. But I like it firm. I do not like mushy pasta at all. So from here, that's cooled already, I'm going to just start adding all the stuff, okay? I have, if such you wanna show them, I have some hard boiled eggs that I've already chopped. I boiled them yesterday, chopped them. I have radish, I have celery, I have black olives, and I have kosher dill pickles. Okay, so let's see. Now that I have my bearing straight and I'm seeing it, I'm gonna see how I actually do this. All right, so first things first, I am going to add a little pickle juice. Now, I'm just gonna kind of pour some in. Now this is kosher baby dough pickle juice. Okay, just a little bit, just to, you know, ah, maybe that's like two tablespoons, okay? Now I'm gonna add all the celery. This is about, Mm, two cups, seven stalks of celery that I've chopped. I'm gonna add the radish. I think these were like six radishes, and I'll, I'll give you the measurement when I, when I write it down. And this is about a third cup of little baby dills from that jar that I just poured some in. And then these are just black olives. Now, I'm keeping the juice. I've only kept about Mm, two tablespoons of the juice, and I want the juice because I like the um, the sodium in that, that salty flavor. So, here that is. Now, the pickle juice kind of, you know, it made it a little more wet, a little bit easier to work with. For my mac salad, I want all the flavor in every single bite. So, and I try to use a pasta that's like the same size as what I'm cutting it up. So just don't use big pasta, only use like little mini shells or elbow macaroni, that kind of thing. Okay, here are the eggs. It's a lot of eggs this time and I'm like, eh, why not? That's, gosh, probably six hard boiled eggs that I chopped up to be about the same size as everything. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up real good. Now I'm gonna add all the stuff to combine this, okay? Now, I am not a fan of sweet relish. I'm not, I don't like it, but it works really well with this recipe. So I'm gonna use that much, okay? And I notice on these videos, I like clank things a lot. I don't wanna waste anything, so I'm always clanking. And that, it cracks me up. I'm like, wow, I do that. Okay, also don't like mayonnaise. I don't. I don't like it at all, but for this, it works. It works for this. And actually, it's, this is one of the couple, few things that I'll eat with mayonnaise in them. So, now typically I'm using like a big spoon like this and I'm just kind of going with it. And that's how I kind of measure. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Hopefully there's enough in here to go. I think, I think there's And if not, we'll fake it and I have another one in the pantry. Do you like all the sounds? It's nice, it's just, it adds to the real deal. And when I'm looking at that, that looks at about like about a cup. Now, yellow mustard. How, why, why am I using yellow mustard? Because it tastes delicious with this. It just is what it is. Like I said, lots of trial and error. This is the recipe. And this is what I do with it. I basically just kind of make a cute little picture with it. That's what it looks like. Oh, oh, yes. And once again, the door is opening and family is coming inside. Lots of noise. It's all good though. It's all good. We're gonna roll it because we said one take. The boys are playing basketball outside, which is very fun and awesome. And the dogs get excited when they come in. Once 
today we're making a video. Making videos. <laughs> Macaroni Hawaiian salad. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, yes, get yes. Get the flavor right. of the islands. <laughs> I'm sweating right now. Like, I'm really sweating. Not only because it's hot, but because that was funny. Okay. So, you know what we need to do now? We need to salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. That totally threw me off. Okay. Neeks, uh -huh. could you take the dogs or go in the other room? Because this is kind of hard for me to do with all the extra noises and dogs barking, toilet flushing. Yeah, you feel me? This is real. Okay, so now we're going to have, I got peppercorns, everyone. So yes, we are going to have some crushed black pepper. And I use a big bowl, so really this is how I'm measuring it, is I just go around probably three times. Okay, and then I'm using just table salt, iodized table salt, so I'm again making my little, I measure it based on how I see it. Rodney, you got, Rodney, you're making me sweat over here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no, I'll add that later. Do you want it a little bit spicy? Sure. Okay, so a little bit spicy. So, like they do in the islands. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. So we're gonna add cayenne pepper though, just a little bit of it. Cayenne pepper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so I do and I are like, okay. So cayenne pepper, my family now that, you know, my kids are a little bit older, they like things a little bit spicy. And so I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper, probably about that much. And I'd say that's probably like, I'm going to go a fourth of a teaspoon because a little goes a long way. Oh my gosh, that was too much for me. I'm not even sure if I'm going to post this video at this point. If I do, <laughs> I'm a very brave soul because wow, that's a lot. You're seeing the real deal inside my home. Loud and funny. Well, funny to us. I don't know if it's funny to you. Okay. So that is paprika, and that is very, the spice is so slight. It's really just for color. So you can see that now I'm in the mode. I have everything in here, and this is the point where I get a little bit of an arm and shoulder workout, and I am turning the bowl and mixing all the ingredients together. Okay. And this is going to chill in the fridge for at least a couple hours because I want all of that wetness from the mayo and all the juices to soak right into that pasta. Um, so. All right. So now I'm gonna just clean off the bowl a little bit and then I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika, one second. Just sprinkle a little bit of paprika right there. <laughs> I'm laughing because Rodney's back in the room and he's just killing me, making me sweat. Okay, so that's it. That is the pasta salad. And I'll probably take a picture once it's set. Enjoy this, I will post it. I'll see you later, bye. 